In today's digital world, you can handle your banking, shopping, bills, and even secure a mortgage all on your mobile device. This is very convenient, but also opens doors to cyber criminals. As technology evolves, so do their techniques. It is important to identify the main methods of attack to help keep you and your identity safe online. Emails are a powerful tool for communicating. However, emails can also be used by attackers to either harvest sensitive information via phishing or spread malicious code via malware or ransomware. It's important to be aware of these threats and know how to spot them to protect you and your organization from harm. Email security is essential to any cybersecurity plan. A common approach that you all may recognize immediately is spamming. Spam email is a type of electronic junk mail distributed en masse to unsolicited recipients. While some may view spam as just a common, everyday nuisance similar to junk mail in your mailbox, there is a darker strategy at play. Another very common method is called phishing. Phishing emails are fraudulent emails that attempt to obtain sensitive information such as social security numbers, credit card numbers, and passwords from the recipient. Last, but not of least importance, are malware and ransomware emails. These particular emails may contain links or attachments that, when opened, either infect an employee's workstation or provide the attacker with access into a victim's computer files or the network itself. Failure to recognize email threats can result in a number of scenarios, but all of them ultimately cost you and your organization time and money. Spam email recipients may be tricked into falling for money scams, visiting illegitimate sites, or registering for email lists that, in turn, distribute more spam. Phishing emails capture personal data that can be used by the criminal to access your sensitive data or sold to the highest bidder on the dark web. Malware and ransomware emails allow intruders to not only steal information, but also encrypt the critical data, holding it for ransom and you and your organization will have to pay for its safe return. Now let's discuss how you can protect yourself and your data from cyber criminals. Sensitive information is anything that might be personally identifiable and can be used on its own or in combination with other information to identify a specific person. If you question if it is personal information, don't send it. An option to secure email data in transfer is encryption. Encryption of your emails requires software to be used by both the sender and the recipient to ensure email is encrypted on both ends of communication. When in doubt, assume email is not encrypted and therefore able to be read by more than the intended recipient. Practice vigilance and be wary of all emails advertising products, news stories, or requesting personal information. Cyber criminals are evolving to the point that it is harder and harder to discern which emails are legitimate and which aren't. Lastly, avoid sending work emails from personal accounts and vice versa. And always remember that email is never private. Even if encrypted, emails are stored on servers and may be accessed by other parties at a later date. Education is the first line of defense against cybercrime. Better understanding of the risks and a little caution can protect you and your valuable data.